welcome back to another Trader Joe's review. Today I am doing two first, a two for one in this review. So cutting to the point y'all, I got Trader Joe's, looked in the new item section and what do I see? I saw that they have a new ketchup uh, flavored sprinkle season and a new pizza sprinkle season. Baby, first of all, two things that I love, okay? Get into it. Get into it. Do you hear me? So let me tell y'all, the reason why I was intrigued to try this ketchup one, not only is it because it's new, it's because growing up, a comment in the, uh, comment in the little comment section below and let me know if you have ever tried these. Growing up, on the east coast the northeast we had these chips i'm gonna google them and i'm gonna put a picture in here so you can see what i'm talking about we had these chips that had different flavors and i believe it had a little chef on the bag and they had ketchup flavored ketchup flavored was one of my favorites out of all of them they had ketchup flavored they had garlic they had onion flavor sour cream and onion, some other ones. Ketchup flavor was my joint. So I'm assuming this is probably gonna be similar to that one. Now baby, this pizza sprinkle, I was excited about this because I love pizza. Pizza is my favorite food. And I'm like, you know what? Sometimes if you can't get a pizza fix, baby, this is probably gonna be perfect on, I can assume it'll probably be perfect on like a garlic bread. But like you want a little bit of like that pizza flair so you just sprinkle a little garlic bread on top. I assume it's also probably pretty good on potato chips and potatoes. So getting into that part, I am taste testing them both for y'all today, right now. On scene, ain't never even tried it before so we gonna see. I've made some smashed potatoes and yes they got a little crisp to them because I don't like my potatoes to be, you know, the smashed potatoes to be too soft. I like a little crisp. So if y'all wondering how you make these, I'm sure you can Google the ingredients. But basically these is just um, potatoes that you boil, the little petite potatoes, you boil them and then you smash them and then you put them in the air fryer on 400 for about, I'd say about six minutes. I kind of um, put them in a little longer this time around, but I say about six, seven minutes is probably good or a little less depending on how crispy or not you want them. So I'm opening it up as y'all can see. I'm going to try the ketchup one first. Let me tell y'all what's inside here. The ketchup one has tomato powder, sugar, kosher salt, vinegar powder, um, rice concentrate, onion powder, and garlic powder. And that's all that's inside of here. Uh, so this is pretty good for us folks that are gluten free and I'm assuming, yeah, vegan, vegetarian, all that good stuff. So you don't have to worry about it. Their little thing on here says, like ketchup, put it in the sprinkle form. Yes, that's correct. You can sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle this delectable topping on potatoes in any form, which is what I'm about to do. Eggs, meats, oh, the possibilities. Try it over rice or ramen. That would be interesting. Sprinkling over a hot dog or hamburger and be adventurous. You won't regret the sprinkle. So that's what the ketchup one says. Let me smell it. Gotta do a smell. Ooh, this really smells like ketchup, y'all. Like not even just like saying it's ketchup, it smells like ketchup. Okay, so I also put a little avocado oil on top of the little potato, as y'all can see. So here's just like a little piece. Um, so it can kind of like grasp on to it. All right, so. I put a, uh, I put a generous amount on this little potato part. Let's see if I could get it to focus. Yeah, so I put a, little, a generous amount on top. Y'all can see there. So let's see. I feel like, let me put a little in my hand and see if I can tell the difference. Because I feel like with the potato, it tastes kind of subtle. So I have some in my hand. I'm just going to try it. Mm. 
Um, what do I feel? I feel like it smells strong and tasted and, and smelling like ketchup. Just basically like dehydrated ketchup, even though that's not really a thing, but you get what I'm saying. So let me see. Mmm, okay. So it's pretty subtle. It's pretty subtle. It's not overwhelming. I do feel like you gotta put like a decent amount to feel like you can actually taste it. Cause I feel like I have put it on the potatoes, but I don't feel like it's like super like strong. Like you know how ketchup could be a lot if you pour a lot. So I feel like you may want to like coat the potatoes in oil how they are. But you may want to like let them sit a little bit. I feel like when they're on the potato, I taste it. But it's a little more like subtle taste. It isn't like one of those tastes that's like boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's more subtle. But it's cute. And it's good. And I think it's a fun little way to like spice up a kid's meal if you don't want them having too much like ketchup. Or some people are specific about sugarless ketchup and all this other stuff. So this may be like a good little substitute. I mean, this does have a little bit of sugar in it. Um, but honestly, it's not, it's not a lot. It says total sugars is zero. Mm, that can't be accurate because... It says that there's sugar in the ingredients. I don't know. Maybe it's just not enough to even calculate, but it's in there. Now, it's subtle. It's good. If I had to rate it out of a 10, the actual taste, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. But I think the potency is not quite there as I was hoping. But again, guys, you're talking to somebody that loves, like, ketchup on their stuff. So... It's a 10 out of 10. It's definitely a cute little thing worth trying. And it's something that I would definitely like buy french fries, toss it in. I almost feel like if you toss it in the potato or french fries or something with some oil first and then let it cook, I think it may allow it to penetrate more into the potato and give it more of a little bit of a stronger flavor. So now let's try this um, pizza sprinkle. Um, let me tell you what's in it. Tomato powder, which is similar to the ketchup. Granulated garlic, paprika, sea salt, rice concentrate, coriander, black pepper, dried parsley, and dried basil, and dried or oregano. Um, let me smell it. Oh, okay. That definitely smells like a pizza sauce. So they both smell like what it says. Trader Joe's pizza sprinkle adds pizza pizzazz to any dish. <laughs> generously uh, sprinkle on your favorite vegetables um, and then the endless possibilities. So let's go on ahead and try this on the potato. I have not seasoned these potatoes, by the way, just so y'all know. These potatoes, I just cook them and put some oil on them because I'm going to eat them with these um, spices. So there's nothing like on it to kind of like alter what I'm tasting. Mm. What do I feel? Mm. I feel like the pizza is the same thing as the ketchup as far as not being super strong in taste. Um... I definitely think these are uh, like seasons that probably needs to be like, I feel like cooked within the item versus like just put on top. You know how like obviously when you're seasoning like a meat, you put it on and you cook it. Or even if you're seasoning vegetables, you put it on and then you cook it to like let it marinate. I don't know that they're perfect being added after because I feel like. I'm tasting it, but like afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pizza one is definitely pizza flavored, but 
again, it's very like um subtle pizza flavor. So basically, between the it, it, it tastes good. The pizza one's not as woo as I thought as far as the pizza flavor. I would probably give the pizza flavoring itself probably like a 8.5 out of 10 because it does taste like pizza. But not like whoo, but it tastes like pizza and it's pretty good and it's something that I would mix into um, like french fries or put them on, so on top of potato chips or something. But neither of them have like a strong, strong like taste to them. But they smell like the pizza. And I think another, another reason why I would give the pizza an 8.5 is because I can tell pizza, but one of the spices to to my nose is a little less pizzery. Like they put too much. Uh, I'm thinking they put a little too much either coriander or or no. Yeah, it's a little bit too much coriander. I feel like if you they would have just focused on tomato powder, the basil, the oregano. All that stuff, garlic, stuff that you typically just put in pizza. I feel like the coriander was a little bit too much. But all in all, they do taste like, you know, nice little fun, I guess, fun little sprinkle add-ons, right? Like, this isn't one of those, like, seasons that you're like, oh, I must have this on my food. It's just like a fun way to dress it up. It's similar to other, um, other things that they've done, like ranch flavored season or the cheese flavored seasoning so yeah that's my honest review about it i think you guys should definitely check it out it's more of a a fun thing to do to your food and less of a oh my god i gotta run down to trader joe's to get it but if you see it try it out i'm gonna go on ahead and finish my little potatoes and i'll check y'all in the next review bye